All right, so welcome back to the channel. Today we got software 2020.12.6. Today we're going to cover stopping at stop signs, stopping at red lights, and what happens when stop signs are pointing the wrong direction. All right, enough of the bullshit. Let's get this thing fired up and get going. All right, we're downloading the software update. Now we're going to set it to install now. And there it goes, updating autopilot, electronic control units, finishing the update. All right, so let's see what we got. We'll read the release notes so that we know what to expect. With the car in park, we're going to go into autopilot. We're going to select traffic lights and stop sign control beta. Read the notes again and select yes. All right, let's get out of here and go for a drive and check this out. There's no lines here, but we might be able to just get the cruise control on. And there it is, stopping at 200 feet. I gotta say, this stop sign works really well. Uh oh, that guy got kind of close and it wasn't happy, but he just kind of cut the corner off of that. So the car stopped noticeably short of the line and the stop sign, but in this case, that's a good thing. All right, we'll add the throttle and. The speed management just takes over again. There's another one. Wow, I gotta say that works really good. Stop, look both ways, add the throttle. Just a bump, not enough to shut anything off. And right back to speed based cruise control. Here's another one. Worked perfectly. Stopped at the front line. Just bump the throttle. There we go again. Speed limit 25. Let's see what it does here. And we'll try the full blown autopilot on this one. And again, the key is just to keep your feet on the throttle at this point, and when it tries to stop at intersections that you don't want to stop, you just bump the throttle and it'll keep going through. But, you know, every, all these people on the internet saying, oh man, it won't stop, it, or it's stopping, and it's uncomfortable, I mean, you do have, they're, they're still required some interaction here. It's the very beginning phase. Alright, there's another successful one. Take this sucker down into some other neighborhoods and see what goes on. Traffic control, 300 feet. See what it does. Wow, that works awesome. All right. The real bummer is what just happened. I just tapped the throttle to move up just a tiny bit and it almost felt like it wanted to pull out into that intersection and smash in the side of that car, so. That's pretty, pretty weird. Because the autopilot speed management was still engaged and when I tapped the gas to move up a little bit, it thought I wanted to just push on through but I just wanted to move a little bit so my recommendation would be if you're gonna just move up a little bit you might want to tap the brakes or something to turn off the speed management every stop sign in Hawaii is bent the wrong direction also doesn't help Cones everywhere. All right, here comes another stop sign. Let's see what it does. Wow, the picture looks perfect. I'd say it did a pretty good job. Yeah. All right. Push on through. All right, let's try full autopilot. Let's 
see what it does. Stopping at 200 feet. This roundabout seemed to confuse it. Oh, today I took the left. Look at that. Oh, it worked. Nice. Stopped. All right, nobody coming. I touched the gas. And there it goes. So this road has about several stop signs with that are just kind of pointing the wrong direction. And we're going to see if they uh, interfere with the ability for this car to stop. So we're going pretty slow. Alright, so stopping at 300 feet even though that's a stop sign from another road. Well, and then it ignores it. But it slowed down quite a bit before it ignored it. Let's try it again here. Here's another stop sign. It's kind of pointing the wrong direction. Well, didn't recognize that one at all. But this one up ahead is literally pointing 90 degrees the wrong direction. Is it going to stop? 300 feet. It's showing it. It's thinking. And it ignored it. Very nice. I feel like with this update, you pretty much drive around with your feet hovering over the brake and the throttle. And uh, the reason being is it wants to stop at every single intersection. And when you don't want it to stop, you just tap the gas and it keeps going. Now when I say gas, I don't mean gas. You can tap the electric. <laughs> All right, so we got another one. This is a red blinking light, Hawaiian style, with a stop sign. All right, stopping at 500 feet, 400, 300. And there it is, blinking light and everything, showing up on the screen and a good stop. So I feel like the stop sign thing works pretty good. There was some phantom stopping on the stop signs pointing the wrong direction, but again, I feel like if you have your foot on the throttle and you just kind of correct it and say, no, I don't want you to stop here. And I'm sure the intentions are over time to... Uh, to cruise right on through green lights and yellow lights and everything else that's that no, we would normally go through but at first they're just trying to be extra conservative and I get that and the infamous roundabout I don't know if this is ever really going to work out in a roundabout I mean there's so many options on and off I mean you would think it would be pretty straightforward but it's not. There's people speeding around, merging on at the last second. There's yields, stop signs. The, the lane is 25 feet wide, so the car is fishing all over the place trying to find that, you know, the lane line dancing around. Like a one-legged guy at an ass-kicking contest. So, we don't know about that, but you know what? My thought is, if this thing will take me to and from work with the least amount of interactions possible, then it's a total win for me. I mean, yeah, it would be great to, you know, come pick me up from the movies or something, but each little step, if you're in the tech, each little step's groundbreaking. You're kind of on the forefront of them figuring all this stuff out, so... All right, so here we go, stopping at 600 feet. We're just gonna let it do its thing. It is going kind of fast, I gotta admit. But made a nice, comfortable slowdown. And there's the line. It kind of gets confused on these turning stop signs. All right, autopilot unable to proceed. Please take over, I'm gonna take over. a red light what's it gonna do stopping for the red light very nice autopilot unable to proceed please take over let's see what it means by take over I mean because it's still fully engaged 
I mean, I know what it means, take over. It's telling me to do something. And then you see the green. All right, there it is. Didn't know what to do after that, which, why would it? It's not supposed to. It was the intersection. All right, so we do have a green light up ahead. Let's see what happens. I do not see it yet on the screen. There's no evidence of it yet, but we're not at that 600 foot mark yet. And there it is, 600 foot. Now I'm gonna try this. Just tap the gas right now, and it canceled the alert, and now it's gonna go right through as a green light with no problem whatsoever. Now had I let that go on, it would have tried to slow down, which would have been uncomfortable and on the edge of dangerous with someone behind us. Like let's say somebody was following us you know, closely behind and this, we lock up the brakes on a, on a green light. That's no, no good, man. So I would say with this update in the current state, as you're pulling up and you notice it's a green light, glance around, if you're a go, just tap the throttle in advance before it starts slowing down and it'll just cruise right on through. If it's a red light, just let it do its thing. Let it stop. So 200 feet, but it does show an intersection. So on this one, the stop sign is totally hidden by trees, but there's still the stop line on the screen as well as the stop warning. And there's the sign and the line. It gives me an opportunity to look both ways. Just tap the gas and there it goes by itself. And then once you get on a street to where there is proper lines, then easily engage the autopilot and move on, man. I think the key to this whole entire system is just learning what it can and can't do and trying to provide a comfortable drive for yourself, your passengers, and everybody that's driving around you. You have to know the limitations, and I feel like that's what we're here to do, is to explore what it can and can't do so that we can get out there and make this thing function the best as it possibly can. You know, and I'm sure as software gets better, you're gonna start to see that some of these things that we're doing to try to make it better become automated, which is great too. Right, so stopping for another traffic light. All right, so it did turn green. Now look, it would normally slow down. I'm gonna tap that throttle and not allow it to and move on. I could have done that sooner, but there's nobody behind us. I just wanted to uh, make the point that it's gonna stop, green or red, and a little, little bump on the throttle can make it where everybody around you don't even know that the car was thinking about stopping and that's that's the point is to be a little bit ahead of it right and I want to say that's why it gives you that 600 foot mark it's kind of notifying you that this is coming and you got some decisions to make all right we're gonna make a right here it's gonna let me do it with the autopilot how's that and it does show a stop sign there I'm not sure why I hit the throttle to avoid it just because we got traffic behind us, but there was no stop, no yield, no red light. So, again, it's not perfect, guys. Some construction stuff off to the left there. Seem to do all right. All right, so we've done stop signs. We've done red lights. Let's try this stop sign. I've tried this one a couple times, and it just does not... It doesn't like this one for some reason. It tends to go either far right or far left. See, it went far left on this one and stopped nice. I'm not sure why it wants to do all the way to the left like that, but we tap the throttle and see what happens. Straight on through. I want to try these stop signs pointing the wrong way again. Because I gotta say that that's a hard one to like program for. Like programming for signs to be wrong. So it's thinking, 
it's got that sign pointing the wrong way and wants to stop it ignores it but it did slow down about 10 miles an hour in the process here's another sign probably 45 degrees pointing the wrong direction I could tell it thought about it, but it didn't show it on the screen. I could feel it bumping around in the car. And here's another stop sign. Boy, that looks like a straight 90 degree off stop sign. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so it's thinking, it's trying to stop, and then it ignores it. Very nice. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and select the bell so you don't miss another future video.